Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. At Springboard Enterprises, we run accelerator programs for women-led startups in the tech space and in life sciences. We've been in existence for 14 years now, and we have had 545 companies come through our programs, and we've had 10 IPOs and over $6.2 billion in funding put into our portfolio companies. Uh, we are a lifelong network. So we're still in contact with all of our alums in the program, and we're really about the human capital. So our main goal is to be able to identify the most promising women-led startups and to support them with the right people to make sure that they can close the gap on the funding that they receive. Because if you've looked at statistics, and I'm sure, I'm sure you have, I'm sure other people have as well, but women businesses don't get funded. And even though post-accelerator, early stage women-led businesses are 15% more likely to be profitable than male-run counterparts, they're 40% less likely to get funded. And that needs to change. And that's what we're all about. The best part about working at Springboard is working with amazing entrepreneurs, working with women entrepreneurs who've identified really phenomenal opportunities and are aggressively pushing forward to make it happen. I, every time I talk to an entrepreneur, I get more and more motivated to make the right connections for them because I want them to succeed. And I get to be a little part of that success, so it's really amazing. My passion to support women-led businesses really comes from my previous work experience. So I am a former Department of Defense civilian who spent an, ex an extensive amount of time in Afghanistan and Iraq doing business development. And as you can imagine, working in the Department of Defense, working in the Middle East, I didn't encounter very many women, and I certainly wasn't able to empower them in a way that I would have wanted to. And then when you look at the statistics in the US about women-led businesses and where we are as a gender, we have a lot further to go before we can really hold other countries accountable for reaching certain standards. So I'm very, very passionate about closing gaps here in the US and then hopefully one day we'll be able to see some gaps closed internationally as well. While I was working in the Middle East, I was in a very unique position to actually help to identify and empower small business owners. Um, the entrepreneurial attitudes in Iraq and Afghanistan are are phenomenal. I mean, people want to better themselves and they want to create those opportunities. It's usually they don't have access to the right ways to learn or, or to actually bring their ideas to fruition. Uh, so I was very fortunate in that I was working on IT development. So we approached Google, we approached IBM, we approached Microsoft and we were able to actually create one of the first IT incubators in Afghanistan ever. So there's no cross-curriculum learning. So students there who have great IT skills don't necessarily take a business course and know how to, how to make a startup. But now there are tech businesses coming out of Afghanistan and they're actually able to compete for contracts from the government. So it, I saw firsthand the effect that entrepreneurship can have to change a country and to change an economy, and I am deeply motivated to continue that change around the world. We love to find companies who are at the front edge. So when it came to our domain name, it was obvious to us to go with .co. .co is on the leading edge of, of domain names. They're an amazing community, and community is so important to Springboard as a whole. So to be able to be a part of the .co community was huge for us. And, and all of the companies in the .co family are amazing. And we get to meet with them, we get to connect with them, and they're so, .co themselves are so supportive of what we're doing. It's just a natural partnership. And we're really, when we say we're proud to be a .co, we mean it.